This is what I've been working on for the past couple days. It's basically a small electric pump. Um, this is a brushless DC motor. The controller is back here. And this is a battery for the low power tests. It's just getting water from my yard. And this is a eighth inch orifice to build pressure behind. Got compressed air coming in for a seal and then a drain. My main concern is that the rotor is pretty imbalanced and to get significant pressure rise, the motor needs to be going pretty fast. Um, so the first initial tests, I'll do like really low power, like 10% speed. Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna get ready to turn on the water. And what I'm expecting to see is water coming out of here. And maybe a little bit of water out of this drain. But I'm really hoping that this doesn't have water. Uh, I might need to bump up the air pressure if that's the case. So I ended up playing with the pressures a little bit and ran into an issue, which is that a lot of the purge gas flows backwards through this hole. This hole was necessary to include so I can tighten the set screw on the shaft, um, but it's basically preventing the uh, purge from building pressure. So right now, my solution is to uh, partially plug it, basically reduce the flow area a lot with this bolt. For a second iteration, definitely replace that with a proper hydraulic plug. But put that in and we'll see how that does. So this is with about 40 PSI for the purge inlet and then it's going through a 38 thou orifice. The hose bib is like slightly cracked open. You can see a little bit of water getting through to the drain. And uh, that flow out of the discharge is normal, not seen any evidence of water getting flowing back towards the motor. Um, although last time when I uh, fully opened the hose bib that caused issues, so we'll see what that does. So something a little funny happened last test. Um, when it was commanded to go to 75% speed, it did initially, it started climbing and then it basically dropped back down. And I'm not really sure why that happened, but if it was overdrawing the battery and the terminal voltage fell, maybe the ESC freaked out. So we're going to the full voltage here. It's about 15, 16 volts. And, uh, We'll see if we can put, really push this thing and uh, get a lot of data out of it before 
moving on to some future iterations. So I'm doing disassembly here, trying to dry things off a little bit. Um, everything looks really good. Um, you can kind of see what things look like. This is the ro uh, rotor with the inducer and impeller. There's this weird little like thing on here. I think it might just be like a piece of Teflon tape that got ingested or something but everything looks good. Um, I definitely want to dry off the motor. It should be pretty waterproof, but don't want to take any chances. I think the uh, main lessons learned and things to address in the next iteration are better sealing. Um, this uh, volume needs to be optimized a little bit better. I want to have a better way of, or I want to have a way of measuring RPM, and I need to figure out what was causing issues with the motor and why it couldn't reach the higher power levels. I did feel the battery after the test, and it was like a little warm to the touch, which is funny because um, the test was like, I don't know, seven seconds long or something. <laughs> One thing I forgot to mention is uh, I also need to change the inducer blade angle. It's way too high right now, so these are the performance parameters, I guess, of that last test number seven, and I'm pretty happy that it reached such a high discharge pressure. That's really cool to see. Um, the main thing that is weird is I don't know what the RPM is, and there's no way to know the motor or the battery voltage, so that's kind of like leave some gaps in the understanding of the data. Um, but after solving those things, I think things will make a lot more sense. So yeah, I, this test day got me really excited. Um, and looking forward to iterating upon this.